You're watching WTFC TV. Welcome to Wellingborough Town versus St Ives Town. This is exclusive to WTFC TV. And this should be a really good match. St Ives looking to gain ground on Wellingborough. They fell behind due to nine wins on, uh, eight wins on the trot from Wellingborough. They'll try and make it nine today. And the game's kicked off with Hearts just getting it down the field. And St Ives just allowed to keep control of it. Smith. Gets it back up to the goalkeeper. No Jason Turner today, thankfully for St Ives goalkeeper. He's been in real form, but he did get suspended. He did get shown a straight red card against Northampton Spencer, which personally I don't fear that it was anyway. He came in with a foot raise. Indeed, it was a foot raise, but it looked like he got the ball. And just headed out there for St Ives, and wow. It Looks like it's going to be an early substitution. Maybe it must have been an injury or some kind of knock because you don't usually take someone off when they've only been playing for a minute. A bit of a shame, really. So then, Paul Smith looking for his options. He has a few. Can he form one? Throwing it down the line. Surridge just getting a little flick on there. Headed back down. Surridge has a shot. Oh my word! It's in! 1 0 to Wellingborough Town. An absolute screamer from Dan Surridge. Look at this. Absolutely sensational from Surridge. We saw him score one last week with a little flick on. But I imagine he'll remember this one for some time. Well outside the box. He caught the keeper off his line. We look at this in slow mo, it'll look even better. Look at this, keep it just caught off his line. Really a brilliant goal from Wellingborough Town. We've only been playing for a minute and we've already had our first goal. This looks like it should be a good game. 1 0 to Wellingborough. Can St. Ice find a way back into this? They've got a corner now. Though the play went for a short one, but nothing's come of it. Wellingborough are usually quite good when playing at corners. And they have again Sturgis, he's a very tall and powerful, same as Surridge. The defence is quite strong for Wellingborough. Can they get the ball in? They have. They've had a shot. Oh, Sport there having to clear it off the line. It looks like Dory was behind him, the new keeper, due to Sean Maggie being on holiday. But look, zoomed in. Yeah, it was Sport who stops it. But it looks like Dory would have had it covered, and Sturgis eventually gets it out. You have a free kick to St Ives. They get it in, it's headed away from Surge. Can he have a shot? He has. Oh, well, a little bit of dip there at the end. Stuart Dory wasn't expecting that. Certainly did dip. It was a good effort though from outside the box. First, it looks like he was going quite far over it, and like he was going to go over the net. It weren't a bad effort at all. St Ives looking to get back into this. 1 0 still to Wellingborough Town. We haven't played that one really. Richardson just trying to get the ball forward, but St Ives will retain possession. They've got to start really moving this ball around. He's just going to have a word in for the referee. I imagine it'll be you know he's, he's pushed a few people in the back now. And that, I think that was one too far. Yeah, maybe did his elbow into him a little bit. And that's Danny Matson, And he's been given a yellow card for St Ives. First yellow card of the match. Yeah, I do agree with the ref there. He's done that a few times and just getting a little elbow into the back. Nothing he could really complain about there. 
Smith just getting outdone by him. Matt's looking to get back in this game and try and provide something. Good steal there from Richardson. Richardson, lovely flick over. Good dummy. Campbell Chon. Oh, well, where if it was there, apart from the finish there, Boyle Chon. Could have easily been 2 0. I think it took a little bobble. Look, 1 2 from Richardson. Good ball in. So he plays it down for Richardson. Lovely back heel. I think it just bobbles up there for Boyle Chon. Unlucky. Maybe he should have done better. Well, he's done it again. This could be a red card for Danny Matson already. The ref will. Oh, I imagine he'll give it. But let's just have a look at it again. Yeah, he's pushed into the back of him again there. And he, that's quite stupid. The referee's having a word with him. It, it looks like he's been let off there. Yeah, he has. The referee just saying, no more, please. Hello, welcome to WTFC TV. It's one in Town 1, St Ives nil. It's been a, a good game so far, with the only goal coming from Dan Surridge with an absolutely brilliant effort from well outside the box. We've seen him in last week uh, against St uh, Blackstones when he had a few overhead kits and he scored a goal himself with a little nick on. But this one was absolutely tremendous and I'll just show you it now. <laughs> Breaking. They're looking for their ninth win on the trot if they win this today, which is a brilliant achievement for the lad, especially with a number of injuries such as Dan Ranger's out, Ray Hackett's been out for most of the season, Ben Johnson's now out, Tom Lewis said he's been out but he looks to come back today. And another thing is Jason Turner today, he's suspended with a red card that he received from Northampton Spencer. For me, I don't think it was a red card. So they're well in bruh to really secure this ninth win. They need to make sure they keep getting forward. They have had a few chances. They've been running down the wind, getting in good balls for Surridge. He's, he's usually quite strong in the air, but nothing's come of it yet. Boyle Chon also playing up front today because of various substitutions, injuries, and suspensions. So, here are some winning brush chances. <laughs> year and they haven't lost in 2011 which is a brilliant achievement but St Ives will be looking to pick up points to gain ground on Wellingborough and try to push up in the table. Can they do that? Well they require three points today and they need at least need a draw. Can they grab that? That's the big question. They haven't really looked fretful up front. The two strikers have been trying hard and everything but now one of their striking strikers is on a booking for a silly incident. He's just been pushing well, everyone in the back, really. So, can Wellingborough stay hold on to this? Or will St Ives be... Well, will St Ives grab any points? We'll find out in the second half. Welcome back to the second half. 1-0 to Wellingborough Town. St Ives, probably their best player. He's Ozzy Foster. He's had a few chances. Can he have some more? We saw him have that volley on the edge of the box, which just dipped down and over the crossbar. The so far, William Brown had two chances. One of them's gone in from Dan Surridge. Well, real chances for me. Dan Surridge, one of them went in, and the other one just missed by Bill Trotty. It's a little bit of a bobble, but William Brown getting up the field. Good ball there into Boyle Chon. Boyle Chon just not having a choppy. He's got a few players around him, but he's going to take a run. Oh, it's a good little skill there. He's got it in. Who's going to be there? Oh, it's just... Oh, yes, it's in! Dan Surridge gets his seventh goal in 24 appearances. Got a bit excited there. I wasn't expecting that. Looks like Redding laid down the ball there for Dan Surridge. I can't see. Maybe it came off the back of Redding's heel when he came down. 
Well, a bit lucky there, Cross the back of Reading's heel. Straight into Surridge. But Surridge makes no mistakes with the finish and gets there. 2-0 to Wanningborough Town. St Ives have really got a push for this now. And Danny, the ref is blowing on. Imagine this will be descending off. He will, he's going to take no complaints this time. He's pulling Danny Matson over. We saw him get the yellow earlier and then he got tortured again. Yeah, it's the second yellow for Danny Matson. He'll be off now. There's the red. He's not happy about that. He's really not happy. But look at that again. Well, that was the weaker one of the three, but he does look like he gets an elbow back. Maybe his elbow comes a little bit back. That one wasn't for pushing. Now then, he could be a bit of trouble here. He's walked over to Sturgis and well, he's tapped. Well, what happened there? Adam Sturgis reacted. He's obviously done something there, Danny Matson. He, that, that's not the best thing to see on the field. They're here to play football. Well, Matson now being exploited off the pitch. What happened there? If we just look at that again. just a, a tap on the head he did elbow him there I don't know what actual harm it done but well it's never good to see he should have just left the field that won't look good against him either now then the sunlight getting in our not doing the best for our camera at the moment we've got a few technical issues with the sun as you can see you can't really well you can't see a lot it's too new to wedding rock now I'll just run you through. When we're on the ball and they're pushing up to the halfway line. There's a they're still on it. Hart plays it across to Richardson. Richardson running forward. Good steal. He's been played well today. Boyltron gets the ball in. Redding lays it down. Surridge! Oh, almost his hat trick there for Dan Surridge. Very, very close. The ball getting. Well, it's almost exact, well, it is exactly the same as the goal. The ball coming in, Redding, getting on that back post, heading it down. And sorry, just puts it a tad wide. But now, so I have to have a free kick. And they get it in. They haven't had many chances in the second half, but can they pull it back? And Sport just gets the ball cleared. That's got to be a free kick. No, what? He's, he's, given, he's given that free kick to St. Ives. Unbelievable. Well, if you look, the, their player isn't even looking towards the ball. He's looking at Boyle Chon all the way. How, that, how that's been given for St. Ives, I'm not sure. Foster getting the ball in towards... Here he is. Can they shoot? He has. Good save there from Doriel. Almost 2-1 there. But the pressure's still on. Good play. And Sturgis eventually gets it clear. It's a free kick. Way. And kicked into the back of Mark Redding's hair then. Head then. That's the only thing that's been on target really for St Ives today. Look at that. Good save from Doriel. Getting down nicely. Zoomed in. Not the best of quality. Good save from Doral, nonetheless. Boyle Chon, good steal. It's, it's got to be, it is. It's a penalty to Wellingborough Town. And Dan Surridge, I imagine, will take it to complete his hat trick. No doubt about that. Beautiful steal there from Boyle Chon in the box. He's playing up front today because Jason Turner is out. If we, oh, if we just show you that again. tap there to get away from the first defender and then the lovely little drag back no doubt about it definitely a penalty can Dan Surridge get his hat trick the keeper's trying to make himself look nice and big no he, he will Dan Surridge gets the better of the keeper there down the middle nice little classy chip there from Dan Surridge completing his hat trick and making it 3-0 to Wellingborough Town well, Wellingborough deserved the points today, and this will bring him nine wins on the trot, which is a brilliant achievement for everyone at the club. Well, there's the final whistle. Games coming up on WTFC TV. We have WTFC versus Stuart and Lloyd Corby. Thank you. Um.